Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to install the Truxedo Pro X15 on this 2017 Ford F-150. Now this is the same as most installations. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now before I start with the cover, I'm actually going to install our bulkhead seal. Now I wiped this whole surface down with alcohol um, and I'm going to take our bulkhead seal. It comes in our kit and start peeling that loose. I'm going to start from one side uh, where the bulkhead touches the bed cap. And the part of the bulkhead that I'm going to attach to is the very furthest away from the cab. So I want to be even with the surface of the inside of the bulkhead. And I'm just going to stretch this apart, or stre stretch this across. And when I get to the other end, I'm going to cut it off even with the other bed cap. And then pull off this protective layer. All right, so I'm going to start with the passenger side. This is the passenger side rail. Um, you've got the uh, Velcro that's on top. It kind of steps down to the shelf area. You get a little oval hole cut out uh, towards the bulkhead side or towards the cab side. Uh, then at the tailgate side, uh, you've got the, uh, the tension adjustment. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this up against the bed cap. Now, the best way to do this is with the tailgate closed. Uh, that way you can center uh, the front and the back of the, the rail between the bulkhead and the tailgate. Now, once we get that up against the bed cap, uh, there's a little bit of a flange that hangs on top of the bed cap. We just want to make sure that's positioned to where that flange is all the way down against your bed cap. Uh, once we get it in position, again, we're going to take uh, a squeeze clamp and we're just going to hold the rail to the bed cap. Then we can do any kind of adjustments front to back that we need to make sure it's nice and centered. Next, I'm going to take one of the clamps. Um, I'm going to loosen up the clamp uh, so that I can open it. Um, also, if you notice, uh, right now I've got it on the top notch. This is the Ford F-150. I want it on the bottom uh, notch on the clamp. Um, then, uh, then this right here is actually going to bite down uh, onto the bed cap and the rail. Uh, and you'll notice you've got a groove system that's on this clamp. There's also a groove system in the rail. That groove system is supposed to match up perfectly to the groove system on the rail. So we're going to slide that up in there. Make sure that clamp is as high up as it can go and uh, mate into that groove. We're going to slide that forward, uh, get it you know, as, close, as close as possible to the bulkhead. It doesn't have to be too close, but we want to get it within, within a foot. Um, and then tighten it first uh, hand tight. Then once we get it hand tight, I'm going to use a half inch uh, ratchet. Uh, you can also use a wrench. And I'm going to get it uh, to where it's starting to bite down. I'm going to double check. Make sure that this flange is all the way down up against the bed cap. And then I'm gonna finish tightening down this clamp. Now I'm gonna go about midways to the center of the bed. I'm gonna attach the second clamp. I'm gonna do that the exact same way as I attached the first clamp. Again, when that clamp starts to bite down, I wanna uh, make sure that the flange is down flat against the bed cap. All right, now the last clamp, again, we're going to install it the exact same way, uh, spread it apart. Um, and then once we get that into place, uh, we get it locked into the, uh, into the grooves. We're gonna slide it as far down as possible. Um, and, uh, and then once it starts hitting any kind of obstruction there, go ahead and then tighten it down. Again, just double check. Make sure that rail, is, that flange is all the way down to your bed cap. We'll repeat the exact same process for the other rail on the opposite side. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to set our cover in place 
on top of the rails. Um, now, what we're going to see here is this is what we call our header guide. Uh, we've got our safety strap that's actually tucked underneath there for right now. So we're going to take and undo our safety straps, and let them hang down into the bed of the truck. Make sure also that the head rail uh, is going to uh, fall out and point towards the cab of the truck. All right, so at the end of your rail, you're going to have uh, a locator bolt. Now that locator bolt is going to fold down and drop into this oval hole that's in the end of the rail. Uh, and then once that happens, uh, we can go underneath and slide our header guide in place and make sure that everything lines up. All right, once we rotate that down and the locator bolt goes down into the oval hole, we're going to go ahead and slide our header guide and that'll go underneath the rail and lock the head rail into place. We're going to do that on both sides. All right, now we're going to go ahead and roll the cover all the way forward and make sure this floating Velcro is pushed all the way up to the front and do that on both sides. Now we can roll the cover back towards the tailgate. Once we get the tail rail to the tailgate, we're going to need to drop it down into the latches. So we're going to make sure that gets into that cam latch, rotate that in place, push down and a latch in place. Well, that concludes the install. If you have any questions, all the experts, we're here to help you out.